directly from the Raj. I mean, you can talk about the trickle down and the repatriation funds to the UK, but it, to many people living in the trickle UK, down, don't feel like they were beneficiaries of that. There, there, there were vast sums that were sent here, Colin, uh, to the UK, not, 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 not a trickle, vast sums in the billions in today's money, perhaps more. Some have calculated even higher sums. But I'm not here to talk money because I think what's far more important is the moral case. I think what really matters is for Britain to look within and to recognize there's something to be apologetic about. Uh, Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, apologized last year on the centenary of an incident in which a ship laden with Indian refugees fleeing the British was turned away from Vancouver, uh, Vancouver port and pretty much everybody on board came to a grisly end, either on the high seas or subsequently at British hands. And Trudeau, even though the Canadians didn't actually kill anybody themselves, and even though that was also 100 years ago, did apologize. T to my mind, I think just, just taking collective responsibility is a moral step that the British have simply not contemplated after 200 years of profiting from their empire. And I think, it's, I think it's sad. We just celebrated the centenary or commemorated the centenary of the First World War in these last few years. It's still going on, really, till 2018. Do you know that an, a million Indians fought under arms for the British side? Do you know it was largely Indian soldiers that stopped the German advance at Ypres at the beginning of the war? Do you know that India supplied pack animals, food, clothing, rations, even rail lines ripped out of the ground in India and sent off to aid the war Effort, and that the total contribution of Indians in, 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 in cash and kind is estimated in today's money at about 80 billion pounds sterling? I'm quite sure you don't know that because the British don't tell you that. It's a great triumph for British arms, but India has been forgotten. I drove past a statue in London to animals that participated in the war. There is no statue to the Indians who've done this for Britain. I think at some point the British really ought to look back at their 200 years, not through the rose-tinted spectacles with which you see these gauzy, romanticized television soap operas about India, but look back at the reality, not just the financial reality, the reality in terms of human lives uh, that were affected and transformed because of the colonial enterprise, and then decide if there is something worth apologizing for. I believe there is. Shashi Tharoor is author of Inglorious Empire, What the British Did to India. Shashi, very good to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Colin.